1093 statistics from a large sample. We sample integers from uh, between uh, we sampled integers between zero and 255 and store the results in an array uh, count where count sub k is the number of integers we sampled equal to k. We turn the min, max, mean, median, and the mode of the sample respectively. As an array of folding point numbers, the mode is guaranteed to be unique. Uh, we call that the median of a sample is just okay. I mean, I think that's the only one that's tricky. What's the uh, boundaries? Okay, each, wow, each number could be up to 10 to the 9. So, okay, the mode is the sample that counts as unique, okay, and just some, uh, what's it called? error margin or error bars on the, uh, or tolerance, I guess, uh, on the double. Okay, so well, I, mean, I think the, uh, the tricky one's going to be median for sure, because I think all the other ones are just like definitions, right? So let's kind of go, go through them one by one uh, in some order. So okay, let's just say we want to return. Let's type that out so we forget, don't forget. So we minimum, minimum, maximum, mean median mode okay so we do it in this order so we don't have to look it up later uh and i think the minimum should be easy minimum is the first non-zero number uh so i'm going to go through the way anyway so we could figure that out um yeah let's do that actually let's just go through uh if, if for index count in recount uh, and then we could just do well if c is bigger than zero, then minimum is equal to min of minimum and index. Uh, maximum is you go to max or maximum and index. Uh, uh, well, obviously I've just set up uh, minimum is equal to say infinity for now to infinity and below v v. I can't even say that word. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've been learning this trick only really recently, but uh, equals of one zero. Are there always at least one number? I hope so. Oh yeah, the sum of the counts. Oh, the sum of the counts is only ten to the nine, not just each element. So, so we could put put it. We could fit everything in integer, um, and then mean is. Uh, well, let's just do the sum. I hate that sum as a keyword because I, I like typing sum a lot. Uh, some and let's go to uh oh, I guess it's zero and then n is equal to zero and then we count that uh that's for the mean uh median we have to figure out mode I guess we just have to do uh, a max count so that's like a little bit meta uh, let's just call it zero and then we we just store the mode is equal to none okay uh median is the tricky one I think we'd probably just end up doing binary search or something uh yeah cool um yeah actually you could probably test the medium you don't even need i mean you should do binary search because it's the responsible thing but you actually just do a linear search because uh, I'll, I'll get into it in a bit okay so this is the minimum maximum uh when we do a mean uh, mean means uh, okay. Let's just set up mean as equal to sum of n divided by n. Also, make sure these are floats. Um, so that means uh, so n is equal to c, and sum of n is c times index. In this case, is index c or okay? It goes from zero. That's fine. Uh, and then mode is uh, I guess we just go uh, if c is bigger than max count are there multiple modes i think i read that it was unique okay so it's unique so we don't have to care about the equal case um so if c is going to count then mode is equal to index and c is nope max count is equal to c uh okay so i think this is roughly right uh let's just say median is none uh and then we could kind of test the example real quick eh. Jeebus. Did I print it? I don't even know if I paste it. Okay, let's just see. <laughs> so, so everything should be roughly right with unless now. Uh, I guess these are all. 
Oh, custom. Okay, fine. Let's just do negative one point now. Because that's a fair statement. Uh, okay. So it seems like on a very short eyeball test, it's okay. Well, I guess I could click on diff. And we knew that the median wasn't going to be right. Okay. Wait. Um, yeah, so I think you can, if you're really uh, uh, lazy, or not lazy, just like don't want to code. And maybe that I should do it that way. I, now that I think about it. Because uh, you can imagine that, so the median is either one number, which is a whole number because it's, you know, uh, uh, because that's how it is. Or if there, if it's, uh, yeah, so median is either a whole number or between two numbers, right? So it's always going to be 0. 0.5 um, because you just divided by 2. So then you could do an emanation. Uh, you could just go through the entire thing uh, by that, I think. Uh, and then that should be good. But uh, let's, but I should practice binary search. So let's do that. Um, so, hmm. I just want to make sure that uh, I do my binary search in a smart way. So, okay. Uh, because I don't want to get like random numbers that are between two numbers, but maybe not exactly in the middle. But does that happen? No, maybe not actually. Okay. I'm just going to write my binary search. Uh, let's start zero. Tell is equal to two and five. Um, well, uh, and I think for, um, for numerical binary searches, uh, I, you know, because usually you you see the head is zero, you know, something like that. Uh, maybe even plus some tolerance. Uh, but but for me, I actually like doing it uh, just loop, um, because um, like let's say you have two hundred, because each you can think about each loop bisects the space, right? So for two hundred loops, like they're not enough bits. There's only uh, to represent whatever you use your photos. Is. Uh, is that true? I guess the Montenser can be 128 or something, or 255. Maybe that's not true necessarily, but it's good enough for this tolerance of 10 to the negative fifth. Uh, not, maybe not true in general, but but you have one in the tolerance issue, then like just do a thousand, and then that'll be like more than enough bits, unless they're really weird for some reason. And in this case, it shouldn't, right? Anyway, this is equal to head plus tail divided by two. Um, and then, yeah, if. Uh, let's just say if count, oh man, count is a variable name, but if, um, let's just call it f. f of mid is, uh, so we want the median to be, I have to do some, I might have to be a little bit careful with the uh, off by ones because of the parity, but okay. But yeah, if the, if the middle is bigger than, that means. Uh, that means we have to go a little bit to the left, which means we want to move the tail. Okay. Uh, and then median is just the head. I mean, the head should be eccentric. You go to the tail, uh, and then now we just have to calculate f, uh, and then which we, we just go by for. Oops, index and see. And yeah, and also do everything uh, as I talked about earlier. I'm doing everything on a laptop keyboard, so it's definitely a little awkward sometimes, but I mean, it's just a keyboard. Um, uh, let's go, what's it called? Running? Maybe that's one. If we want to count number of x is equal to bigger than index, maybe equal to. I have, I have to, there's some things where like, if there's an exact number, I might have to be careful, but, but I could do, uh, let's just do this for now, uh, and then, uh, else we return, uh, or let's just break, and then we return running, and that should be okay, roughly. Also, if you want to optimize, you probably times this by two, so that you don't have to do it, the expensive division. Uh, okay, I mean, it's closer, but as I worried, um, you have to deal with the between the two numbers things, 
uh, so I might have to this operation has to be a little bit more precise. Uh, huh? How do I want to define it? Hmm. Maybe that's okay. Two point five. How that? Hmm. And this is actually okay. So that's even number. So it's between two numbers. Uh, and it's between the well, it's 2.5, then it's the, the 3 and the 4, uh, which means it's... Um, so you want it to be exactly equal to... Well, let's just try try this. I, I think that actually just gives me the smaller number of those. I don't think that actually changes anything uh, or in a way that uh, I would like. Yeah, maybe I have to just handle it differently uh, for ends that are odd and ends that are even. Um, because I think this is the thing. Think about it for a second. Um, because because what happens is that uh, this might even not even necessarily be 2. It may be like 2.001 or something like that. Uh, and that's the smallest number that is bigger than half the numbers, right? Which is how we define it. Um, maybe I did this too too silly. Actually, maybe I didn't need binary search because uh, you just count from the left and count to the right. Maybe that's smarter. Like a, almost like a collapsing window thing, and then you would meet at the middle. Um, yeah, maybe that should have been the way. I kind of. So probably do something wanting. Okay, let, let's actually just do them with smarter. Uh, I think I just chose binary switch because I was lazy, to be honest. Because uh, I thought I could get it easy. Uh, actually, maybe if I'm lazy, then uh, let's keep that. And then uh, let's say, let's not do the binary search then. And then we just keep it from, so let, let's say we're doing increments of, by times two, um, so x is equal to I don't know this. That's what the range is for. It. Oh well, let's divide by this by two, and then if f of f of x is greater than by two, then um, well break. Also, median is equal to x. Uh, so the first number that's okay. Yeah, I think this is kind of right, except for the average. Uh, oh, is that right? Also, uh, oh, that's a little wonky. 3.5, oh yeah, I guess. Hmm, wait, am I right? Why would it be bigger than all the numbers? What am I returning? Okay, let's take a... Uh, let's take a quick look. I think x f of x. I think that's where also the debug is nice. <laughs> uh, hey, very hungry, bro. Uh, yeah, 2.5 should be 4. Why is it returning? Did I do my math wrong? On the break. Why is it returning 3.5? Well, I mean, clearly it didn't break, but. Uh, um, it has to be okay. I'm actually still not convinced that this is uh, correct. Well, and that proves it. Um, is that so? Two is seven. Oh, okay. Because I okay. So the reason why I want to do it this way is because so that um. 
is so that I could handle the uh, the cases easier, I think. Uh, and I well initially I wanted to get the even cases, and now I have to do the odd cases, which is fine, because uh, this is not true for whatever. Um, hmm, okay, so actually we have to decide. So I can break it out easier, and then now we want this to be bigger than n over two minus one or something, right? Plus one, I mean. Uh, no, minus one. Because it just has to be exactly. Oops, did I? Oh, I didn't actually do anything with that if statement. Wow. <laughs> Brain farting. Uh, okay, wow, this is more annoying than I anticipated. But, uh, oh, we want it to be 4, but 4 is already... And also this is like really inefficient because we could just keep on counting up on this thing. Uh, but it still should be fast enough, so I'm not worrying about it yet. I'm just worrying about correctness. Um, so 7 divided by 2 is 3. That should be good enough. Right, am I looking at the white bar? 7, 9, 11, oh, so it wants to be bigger than 5. Right. It's bigger than 4, so that's good. But wait, why is 2 the answer? Oh, because oh, it doesn't count the numbers that are equal to. Okay, that's why I... Also, maybe I should have used the debugger, but I don't know if that would help that much. Oh, no. What's that now for the first one? Uh, Median is hard, especially in this way, but... Okay, let me think for a second. Um, two is now. So, you know, is if this is so in this case, it would actually be exactly equal to, and then we know that it is the next number. Actually, this is just wrong. I think no matter how I was doing it, because then it actually wants the next number in it. Because I, I've been only using cases where um, the numbers are adjacent to each other in the, the mode or median, but it could have like spaces apart, right? So, okay. Uh, that's what I get for trying to be shortcut and smart, <laughs> except for not really. But um, let me just do, okay, but I think median, now that we know n, as I was saying, um, so hmm, at least a smart way to do this. So let's, uh, if we could just use two two cues. I mean, you could do it another way, but I think for me, when I'm especially when I'm doing a contest, uh, or I'm, I am okay with writing code that is just easier to write. Um, but if that makes sense, yeah, that's a Q. Or I guess I could. This is the perfect case for a deck, actually. I suppose. Um, oh, I say that, and then I actually have to declare the deck first. Um, I guess I'll put it here, actually, and then just put things in. Um, is it insert? I guess just a pen is fine. Um, and then see, so this is uh, so we just get rid of all the zeros, is what happens. Um, and then now we uh, well, true, we just do that for now as a placeholder. Uh, we want the left is equal to tech dot pop left. Uh, right is equal to attack, uh, pop right. I think that's a thing. 
um, and then okay if that was good away then that's great um, so we just continue say uh, if left is bigger than right um, then let's say left um, let's just do the dumb thing and let's uh, what's it, is it a prime left or push left maybe I, f I forget let me it's kind of sad that I'm a little struggling with is it push left push pop a pen left huh, that's a really Uh, because we want to do a pen left of. Uh, this is actually a left index. Uh, and then we just do. We keep the index. Uh, and then just do left minus y. Um, and else and this is a really dumb way of doing it I think you can uh, not dumb just code inefficient way of doing it but it just allows me to debug and visualize more because I feel like you could it's the same as kind of keeping two fingers and then just kind of going it I feel like there's a, a lot of off by ones uh, as a result of of that uh, oh man people are messaging me and it's ping, pinging really loud Okay, but yeah, um, and but for me, I just in in my and this is just like me specifically historically. Um, I went into a lot of off by ones. Uh, oh, hey, very hungry, dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm uh, I'm like talking. <laughs> Let's say that. Um, I think mean, uh, this is not what I'm practicing for. Actually, I'm practicing a little bit for competitive programming because I've been just. I mean, I think I initially was trying to do like a little bit warm up for interviewing, and then I was like. I got hooked on the uh, competitive programming bug a little bit uh, for better or for worse, which is uh, similar to what you're saying with being addicted to lead code. <laughs> like I just enjoy doing this and figure I do it on Twitch because my friend was like, I want to see how you think. I'm like, it turns out there's not much. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, okay. What happens if the... Uh... Hmm. Okay. I mean, well, let's see what are the conditions, right? If length of deck is equal to zero, then, oh, sorry, well, one, that means that's fine, then we return the, oh, oh. Um, and then median is equal to deck of zero, because there's only one element, so that's the element, right? And then you break. Um, then the tricky one is what happens if you have zero? And obviously, you don't really. Um, so it could only be zero if this happens on line 33 because left is equal to right so then you pop both at the same time so let's just keep track of last mutual pop is that a good name i don't know uh is it equal to left uh well we could just actually set this to whatever and then because we have to return anyway so okay let's do that um oh i thought it's called pop right wait is it just pop I guess so, because this, the pen is just a pen, it's not a pen, right? Okay, I said that out loud, but I didn't actually fix the code for that point, even though <laughs> I think I was just in autopilot when I was typing, because I realized this, but, huh, okay. Oh, I... Oh, because I... I here I don't check that the deck is zero. So actually in this case we could check it here. If length of deck is zero, because this is the only case that should happen, then we break. Um I guess we could we could also just up micro optimize this part. Oh, actually this is wrong even. Whoops. Uh I don't I, I'm too used to binary search where you, both left and the right doesn't really matter. But actually in this case and also that's not even the index, but in this case it should be left plus or uh, left index plus right index divided by two. I'm just it's like uh it's like I'm an autopilot but a dumb version of it where you just like 
running into things, I suppose. But um, oh, uh, why is the median? Oh, because this should be one, oh no, zero for the index of it. Okay, I, sh I guess I shut down it this way to begin with instead of trying to be clever. Uh, it turned out there are more edge cases. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna submit because I'm lazy. Lazy on the testing. Um, cool, yay! I guess I should have done this to begin with. And how long did I take? I ended up taking 25 minutes, which is a little bit slower than I would like, especially to a problem that uh, it's just essentially the median finding of, of this. Um, and if this was in the contest, I would be very sad because I think people would probably get this in five minutes, at least the good people. But yeah, uh, let me talk about this problem first. And uh, I mean, I think I mostly talked about it already. I think the min and the max, and even the average, uh, the mean, uh, the mean and the mode. I think those are straightforward. I don't think there's any tricky things about it. Um, the mode, oh no, sorry, the median is the biggest one because you have to just find the middle, middle element. Uh, and I guess this, the two, you could do this with the two finger and uh, and without the uh, extra O of n memory. Uh, and actually. If you do it that way, uh, you just like count the original array. Uh, you actually only need O of one of space, uh, extra space. It's just that the way I did it was O of n space. And in competitive programming, it doesn't really matter generally unless n is really big. Uh, and in this case, n is 255, not 10 to the 9. So it should be okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, maybe on an interview, it's just a little tricky because I would always worry about off by ones because this is just hard. <laughs> To not be, I guess these could be all just be counters, so maybe it's not so bad. But I'm notoriously bad about it. So in that, in this way, uh, when I have typos or bugs or just off by one, it allows me to print out the the, the states of the deck much easier. And that's why I did it this way uh, right now, because I'm always worried about off by ones. I'm really bad at it. Uh, or like the equals and the greater than and greater than equals. I'm just I don't know. Um, and that's part of like knowing your weaknesses and coding it in a way that helps. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think finding a mode is probably oh, wow. This is terrible meta downloads. I feel like that's yeah something that I would totally expect uh, on an interview. Uh, I've done something similar, but I think the you could uh, not the mode. I said mode, but I mean median uh, and the other standard median uh, techniques that are O of N uh, for a given arbitrary array. And those are kind of like, you know, you could talk about divide and conquer, and that's why people like it for interviews. Uh, it's an interviewer, that is. Um, so definitely be familiar with those, uh, I mean, because divide and conquer is actually kind of practical, uh, maybe not in the specific way that the textbook tells you, but when it comes up, it's pretty practical. Uh, so I would definitely recommend it. Uh, and it's not so bad. I don't know why all the problems that I say is not so bad as a huge download though. So maybe everyone hates me or I hate everyone or something, I don't know. But uh but yeah, overall not a difficult problem, said the guy that took way too long. But the hot part is the medium, thanks, hint. Why the helper function? Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> um that, that's a kind of a crappy hint, but uh, I mean it's just amusing but not in a necessary important way. But uh cool. Uh Okay, cool. Uh, that's what I have for this problem, I think. I mean, I think people know what medium... People know that it's not necessarily easy, but people also know how to do it in general, I think. So, uh, 